Hi Nareet, we got your car here on the hoist and I wanted to show you what the brake problem is. Um, the brake leak is coming from the left front brake caliper and as you can see it's wet right here on the bottom of the brake caliper. And that's ev because every time you press on the brake pedal, the pistons push all the brake fluid out of the uh, brake caliper on the left front wheel. So if we're going to do one brake caliper, you should really do the both sides. It's like a pair of shoes. Um, if we don't just if we don't replace both front brake calipers, what could happen is you could have a brake pull, and this is why we change brake calipers in pairs so that you don't have any brake pull in an emergency stop situation. Um, if I just do the left side, more than likely the left brake caliper will work harder and better than the right side since it's a newer one. And whenever we replace these brake calipers in pairs, we also recommend replacing the brake caliper brake hose. This hose right here, this hose should be replaced. So there's two brake caliper hoses, and we also are going to have to change the brake pads since they got wet with brake fluid. They're really no good anymore, and we should just put new brake pads along with these uh, brake calipers. The other thing that I noticed here is that the brake caliper harness for the brake pad sensors is starting to deteriorate, and it looks as if though the um, the harness uh, is bad, and, and this um, brake brake caliper uh, harness is not going to let you know that the brake pads are finished. So that's one thing we're going to have to do is change the left brake caliper harness if you want the brake pad warning light to come on when your brakes are finished for the left front brake caliper. So these are the things that need attention and I'm going to go ahead and fax you or email you an estimate so you know how much all this is going to cost. And that's it.